What's up, Docs and Docettes? Trevor Thompson, the self-appointed Looney Tunes critic here, here at the bar, having a having a nice little cocktail. It's been a long day for at, at uh, for all of us at work, so we sip our cocktails. Actually, the cocktail that I am uh, taking part in today is the um, well. It's, it's key, in keeping with the title of today's vi uh, video. It's uh, well. It's about uh, the, the the carrots that Mel Blanc was chomping down on. So I got some carrot juice. Uh, from Sweet Fresh, um, and uh, that, mm. that is, uh, that is poopy. So without any further ado, let's get into your daily dose of what's up, Dockery, it's Riding the Shield. <laughs> and on today's little bit of bar talk, a little post-work bar talk, we are talking about um, this uh, VHS that I recently picked up, unopened as you can see. I don't know if you can see that really, but uh, the uh, the plastic is still on it. Uh, Freeling frame by frame. This is something that uh, my buddy Greg Ford uh, worked on many years ago. And we're not talking about this, but it is going to come up. So we'll leave it right here when it becomes relevant. So as uh, the title says, it's uh, was Mel Blanc allergic to carrots? Because as we all know, we've all heard the stories about him recording the uh, the lines with the carrot last we've even heard this story from bugs bunny superstar where they tried numerous vegetables that uh, to, to get that sound because mel didn't want to use carrots the man of a thousand voices mel blank became world famous as the voice of bugs bunny but he couldn't stand carrots one teeny bite and mel sort of choked up so he tried everything celery turnips even rutabagas. But nothing sounded like a carrot but a carrot. So in our recording sessions, Mel would bite the carrot and chew, say the line, and then quickly spit the carrot out into a tub that we kept there beside him. And indeed, nothing sounds like a carrot but a carrot. But uh, some have said that Mel Blanc was allergic to carrots. Some people have said that he just didn't like them. And uh, most recently, uh, this came up... Uh, in a discussion, a private discussion, which I think is, by the way, all the, the way that all Looney Tune discussions really should be. That's my fancy way of saying, I love you all very much, but please stop, like, at mentioning me on Twitter when you and your friends are having uh, Looney Tunes conversations. I very much appreciate and love the fact that you're citing my arguments and stuff like that. That's very nice, but please, I'm not going to contribute anything to the discussion. I'm a very busy man. I work very hard, and at the end of the day, I just want to sit here, drink my carrot juice, and produce my content. I appreciate it though. But um, but yeah, the the conversation was between uh, me and Pez. It was over the phone. We were talking um, about this thing, and uh, I was telling him. Well, actually, I don't even remember how it came up, but I do recall that he specifically said that he didn't think that it was an allergic an allergy. He thought it was more just that Mel hated carrots, and he he didn't, you know, he was uh, he was kind of extending, you know, fibbing, if you will, or maybe not fibbing, but uh, being the wreck on tour that he was. Uh, in as much as that he um, he said, uh, you know, Mel is definitely one of the the fathers uh, that's depicted in this uh, this lovely painting, um, but uh, he. Like a lot of these guys, you know, it's it's pre-internet, and uh, uh, they exaggerated a lot about uh, some of their more some some of their contributions, and because there's not a real there's not a whole lot of fact checking that really could have been done in those days, and uh, Mel certainly uh, took advantage of that, as we pointed out in previous uh, videos of mine, that uh, he he he's on record in that Mel Blanc Man of a Thousand Voices documentary that we all know. He's on record as saying that he came up with What's Up, Doc. They showed me a picture of this little rabbit, and he's going to say, hey, what's cooking? I said, instead of him saying, hey, what's cooking, why don't you have him say, hey, uh, what's up, Doc? That's in the new uh, expression that was uh, being so popular. And I said to Mr. Schlesinger, I said, why don't you name him after the guy who drew the first picture of him? His name was Bugs Hardaway. Why don't you call him Bugs Bunny? So Pez's contention is that, you know, he probably was being, you know, extra, if you will, about the allergy. 
Um, you know, it's, it's probably more that he just hates carrots, didn't want to eat them, hates the taste of them, and probably thought there was more of a, there's, there's more of a story in the voice of Bugs Bunny, allergic to carrots. But I do know that uh, information back then was not as not readily available to the average person. And, and so if Mel Blanc wanted to, I'm just saying, look up, look up Google, you know, allergies to carrots. And when you do this, you'll find that um, the symptoms that that come up in your search will match the symptoms that Mel Blanc himself stated. He said, you know, the, the, the throat closes up and, it, you know, it's hard for him to breathe and he goes, breaks into hives, things like that. Now, I'm all I'm saying is that if Mel Blanc was making up the allergy thing, then he got the uh, he got the symptoms exactly right, uh, and it's not a common thing, you know, people to know about the an, an allergy to carrots. So we were having this back and forth, this 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 good natured debate, and uh, and then a few days later, I was on the phone with Greg Ford, who, as I said, produced this thing, and. Um, he mentions uh, an interview that is that is in that thing that uh, really should have been more readily. That thing should be on uh, the, the Golden Collection DVDs or one of these specialty things. But uh, don't worry. I didn't say anything. So, uh, but anyway, there's a, an interview with Stan Freeberg and Greg tells me about it. He says, oh, well, you know, uh, Freeberg mentions the carrot thing because uh, he he was with Mel. You know, he he was one of the cartoons, uh, probably uh, Pete Puma. He was probably voicing Pete Puma, and uh, and Greg tells me about this interview, saying, "Well, you know, he mentions that uh, Mel was retching and really trying to get the the tiniest little bit of carrot out of his throat, like really needing to get it out." <laughs> and in the conversation, we were just like saying to ourselves, you know. If he, if it's really that he doesn't like the taste of carrots, then he's a prima donna because getting the teen tiniest little bit out of the, the back of your throat just because you hate the taste of carrots, and like, you know, losing all sense of composure and and like you know, retching up in front of you know Stan Freeberg and whoever else was present. I mean, it's a long way to go just because you don't like the taste of something. So that was supposedly the proof. Now. This thing made its way to me by completely different reasons, different, uh, you know, this, it was just happenstance that uh, about a month or so later I, I got my hands on this thing, and yes, I'll be doing something with that later, but when I did get to watch this thing, the dig a digitized version of that, that video right there, I saw the Stan Freeberg video, and uh, the interview in question where Stan mentions it, here it is. One of the interesting things I remember about Mel Blanc looking back is uh, him uh, chewing the carrots on the mic, see? At some point he discovered that going eh didn't sound as good as actually chewing a carrot, a real carrot. So that at some point in the session, Treg Brown would walk over, or the director, whoever, Frizz, and hand him a carrot with a, uh, a paper towel, you know? And then Mel would actually chew this carrot. But the interesting thing is that Mel hated carrots. He hated the taste of carrots. Harry was Bugs Bunny, right? So he would chew the carrot and then spit it into a paper cup afterward. You know, never, never, ever swallowed it. He'd go, eh, what's up, Doc? And he'd go, okay, Mel, Mel, give us a faster one. Faster chewing. Okay, here we go, faster chewing, take two. Eh, what's up, Doc? And cut, and he go, you know, into this cup, you know, jeez, very revolting. So yeah, right there, man. He says right there, Mel Blanc didn't like carrots. He does not say Mel Blanc was allergic to carrots. And, but you know what? I, I think all the other arguments I made stand. So that's a, it's not a settled argument by, by any means. I'm sure Pez still thinks that he's right, and I know that I'm right because that's the way I operate. I'm English and, you know, a Scorpio, which apparently means something. Hey everybody, it's Trevor here in the editing bay, and at this point I was gonna play a clip of an interview that I found a long time ago of Mel where he expressly states that it's an allergy and that his vocal cords 
tighten up and close because I didn't dream that up. I didn't dream up those symptoms and I can't find it at the moment. But what I do want to say here at this point that I think is interesting is that it's it's funny to me that Pez is the one who thinks is, is specifically the one saying to me that the idea that it's an allergy is an invention of fans and or just people getting it wrong and not going to reliable sources and checking their sources and such like that because I went online and I found a very uh, I found something interesting here it says uh, this is what I could find about the uh, the vocal cords specifically in this thing it says that he had the allergy and it they caused his vocal cords to swell and prevented him from speaking easily now this is a website but it's no less a reputable website than Pez Hoffman's own animationresources.org, which, by the way, all of you should go to because it's amazing um, and support and everything. But Pez is the director of communications at Animation Resources, and this specifically is where I'm finding stuff about it being... Well, I had it here. It's gone now. But specifically here is where I'm finding the stuff about there being an allergy and a requote of Mel's statement, previous statement at some point, which is that, yes, indeed, it was an allergy and his vocal cords would swell. Fuck you, Pez. (laughs) Fuck you, Pez. How dare you? I'm right. I'm always right. I'm the Looney Tunes critic. All right. Back to the video. Back to the video with Doc and Marty. That's what I want you guys to talk about in the comments for uh, this installment of Riding the Shield. Was Mel Blanc allergic to carrots, or did he just not like them? What do you think, based on all the empirical and uh, anecdotal evidence that we presented here in today's video? And so, and also, while you're doing that, be sure to give a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Uh, ring that stupid uh, little bell for notifications for when we're doing new stuff. Cheers, and here's to you, and uh, we'll see you right here, same time tomorrow. Riding the shield, baby.